Hi guys! Sorry this video is up late. Um, I meant to put it up on Friday, but Thursday night um, I ended up falling asleep really early. And then yesterday night, Friday night, I um, had some training for work to do and then um, I went to bed early again. So I really apologize for this being up on Saturday when I promised it on Friday, but um, better late than never, right? So I'm just going to quick jump in. I had my first trimester screening on Thursday the 23rd. Um, and it was really cool. I go in and, um, uh, the first thing we did was the ultrasound. So that was really cool. We looked at baby's head. We looked at, um, the back of the neck. Cause I know they measure something in the back of the neck, um, to check for Down syndrome and everything looked good there. They looked at the nasal bone, I believe. Um, and that looks really good too. Uh, baby was actually picking its nose. And I do have an ultrasound picture right here that does show baby picking its nose, which I think that is hilarious. I love candid pictures. I love seeing um, just really true pictures, not staged. So this was a very candid picture. I love it. Um, and also baby was crossing its leg, so I call it my proper nose picker. Um, so we looked and we saw hands, we saw five fingers, um, we saw arms, legs, feet, um, the abdomen, um, the brain, the top of the head, um, the profile, of course, the spine. The spine was really cool to see. Um, and baby started hiccuping, which was really cool to see. Um, and after a while, the baby kind of got sick of the ultrasound tech poking and prodding. So baby would move, turn its head so she couldn't get a good profile picture, and was just being very stubborn. So um, we did get an ultrasound picture, and baby is measuring two days ahead. So I was 12 weeks, two days when I was at this appointment, and baby was measuring 12 weeks, four days. So that was really good. Baby is like, baby center app said that this week the baby would be just about two inches. Um, and baby is measuring just under two and a half inches. So we have a little monster, a huge monster on in there. Um, so I do have the ultrasound picture of baby picking its nose. I'm going to hold it up. Hopefully you guys can see. You can see the hand up by the nose. Um, and so that is baby. Um, the cool thing though was we do know the gender. Um, the ultrasound tech asked me, she said, do you want to know the gender? And I was thinking, wow, that's way early. So she looked and um, she did tell us her best guess, showed us the bottom and everything and explained why she thought um, baby was this gender. Um, I will not be sharing it now due to my uncertainty of if it doesn't change um, or if it does change. So um, I do know the gender, which is really, really cool. Um, so I will share the gender, obviously, after my anatomy scan. I did... Um, schedule my anatomy scan for November 25th and I asked my doctor if I could do this so I could announce to the rest of my family at Thanksgiving um and he agreed to it he just said if they couldn't get um, measurements of the heart or something else they would just schedule another ultrasound for a few weeks after which is fine with me so um after that I got my flu shot I talked to my doctor I had an appointment with him talked to him he asked me if I had any questions I really didn't he said the ultrasound looked really good um and that baby was measuring right on schedule. So I got my flu shot, um, and then we went to the um, lab so I could get my blood work done. And I did get a lot of the test results back, which is why I have my laptop. So I'm going to quick go through everything so um, I can let you guys know what is going on. So we did the prenatal profile, which was really good. Um, my white blood cell count was up a little bit and the certain white blood cells that are up um, can be due to allergies, asthma, which I do have asthma. So it's nothing to be concerned about. Everything was in the clear. Um, my hepatitis B came back negative. My syphilis came back negative. Um, let's see what else. Platelets were good. Hemoglobin was good. Red blood cells were good. Everything was in the normal range, which was really, really good. Um, and then we go to the toxoplasma and that came back negative. Um, lead, that came back in the normal range. Nothing to worry about. Um, 
type and scream for PNP, which is my blood type. Um, so I'm O negative, so I'm RH negative, which means I have to get my Rogam shot. We already knew this. Um, I knew my blood type before they even did this, so my doctor had already pre-warned me that I had to get my um, Rogam shot at 28 weeks, which, no big deal. Um, and then... ABS, which was the um, muscular dystrophy test through the blood, that came back negative, so that was awesome. Um, and then the antibody specific specificity, I don't know what that means. Um, they really didn't give much on that, but I'm assuming everything's fine, because I said if everything was fine, I wouldn't get a phone call, and I haven't gotten a phone call, so... Everything is really, really good. I am feeling good. Um, baby is doing good. Oh, the heartbeat. She did give us the heartbeat, and it is 166 beats per minute. So, A-okay. Baby is doing good. Um, but, yeah, I think that's it. This It was a really quick appointment. The longest part was the um, ultrasound and waiting for me to get my blood drawn, which they took 12 vials of. Um, the tech who did it was like, are you getting, um, queasy? I was like, no. She's like, I kind of am. She's like, this is a lot of blood. <laughs> so, um, everything went good. Um, so yeah, that's how my appointment went. Um, I figured I would get this video up later than, better late than never. Because obviously you guys wanted to know, you guys are curious. So that is how it all went. So, um, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do love new friends or else I will see you in my next video, which should be on Tuesday, my regular update. Um, and yeah, so I will see you next time. Bye.